Hi there. Well, as you can imagine, no sooner had I started playing with a 3D printer than I wanted to see if I could connect it to Home Assistant. And guess what? I found something called OctoPrint, which connects to the 3D printer and links into Home Assistant. So let's have a look. So OctoPrint offers full remote control and monitoring of every aspect of your 3D printer. It's got plugins to improve the functionality and it's 100% open source. So excuse the noise in the background, but I am running a print at the moment, so I can show you this device as it's operating. So um, as you can see here, we've got the connection to the printer. So it's currently connected and running. We're running a print at the moment. I'm busy printing a casing that I'm gonna put a RGB 16 by 16 matrix in. So that's busy printing at the moment, as you can see. So I've got control of the printer. I can pause or I can cancel the print. You can see this one is just about finished. We've got five minutes to go. Um, down here you can see some of the recent prints that I've made. So normally with this type of printer, I would have to actually load it on the SD card, carry it over and plug it into the machine. But I can now upload prints directly from my, uh, from my computer and I can load them straight up through the OctoPrint. Um, so having a look over here, we can see our temperature of our print head and our bed. Over here, we've got the camera coming into uh, view. You can see what's going on there. Probably need to adjust the angle of the camera to get a bit of a better picture. Um, we can see, we can actually slice through the print. We can see all the different layers over there. We can see the code that it's running as it's going through there. And it's also got a time-lapse photography thing. So we can set up a time lapse you can see here's a short one of a previous print that i ran just a short one there so this is the actual um, interface of octoprint but now what i'm going to do is show you how this looks once we've integrated it into home assistant so i've used a raspberry pi 4 with 4 gig of ram and i've connected it directly with a usb cable from the raspberry directly to the printer so home assistant offers a native integration into OctoPrint and it seems like 3.3% of active installations are using this at the moment. So this is just a basic page that I've created with some of the entities from OctoPrint in Home Assistant. So you can see I've got a gauge here showing the percentage complete of the job. Um, we've got a bed temperature and a tool temperature. We've got a timing, so telling us it's gonna finish in four minutes. Now, this is a separately connected smart switch, which is, or a smart plug, which is running through ESP Home, so I can switch the printer on and off through that plug. On the right-hand side here, you can see it's pulling through my camera from OctoPrint. Um, we've got the power coming through from that power plug, so you can see the amount of power that it's using. I'm actually really impressed to see that it averages out at around 100 watts of power. So these things are really easy, I mean, really affordable to run. Then we have these controls so we can actually pause the job, we can restart it, we can shut down the printer, we can reboot it, resume it, or stop the job, all from within Home Assistant and all live. Well, as you can imagine, there's all sorts of automations that could be made within Home Assistant, for example, to send me a message when my print is complete. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you've got any comments and like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.